1065 as read out and sums are located in the schedule be approved. Honorable Junet. Chair, I want the chair of the education, I mean the education and budget to listen to me through you. Madam Chair, this money is not enough. And you saw the other day the confusion that has been created in the admission of universities, students, Madam Chair, where the poor, the rich, the empty handed, all of them were supposed to pay the same equal fees. Parents could not afford, parents don't have, don't have uh, money. Some of them resorted to selling their goats and their cows and their camels and everything. Madam Chair, this is a state department that requires more funding. We need to put our money where our mouth is, Madam Chair. So Madam Chair, that university model, I don't know who brought it to this country, of admissions cannot work. So the Chair of Budget must relook into this and see if this state department can get more money if our children are to go to, 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 to university properly. In the Azimio time, we promised free education from primary to university, but we did not get the chance to, to do it. For those who are there, please provide money now. Thank you, Madam. Honorable Chair, Undo. Chair, I really want to urge the <laughs> department that we, and the entire committee of BAC that we need to look for more resources. The chaos being experienced by admission to universities is really heart rendering. The many cases, even here as I am here, Chair, I have received a request to pay 161,000 for students from Funula constituents who stand taking medicine because the, the funding structure cannot afford to pay for her. And the parents are mere teachers. I do not know where they are going to raise 161,000 between now and Tuesday next week when the exams start. We need to streamline this process. Others will go back to the old system where everybody knew how much to be paid and with that certainty. With that few remarks, I support, but we need more, more resources. Honorable Moshomba. Thank you, Madam Chair. I followed um, uh, com parliamentary committee proceeding, uh, the committee in charge of education of this house, and I picked from that uh, discussions that were there in that uh, about 45,000 children, or rather learners, who have been ad admitted in the national universities have not been able to uh, afford to report to the universities. And therefore, these are the many children and or learners that are going to revert into Tibet institutions. And therefore, we expect that the volume and the numbers of the learners that are going to flock Tibets is are going to be overwhelming. And therefore, I would appeal to the chairperson in charge of BSC committee to consider adding more money to Tibet so that we can be able to accommodate that very, very serious uh, numbers that uh, we are expecting. Thank you. Honorable Nyoro. Honorable Chair, thank you very much. And I agree with the sentiments from all the members. Yes, we need money for Tibet and for the entire sector of education. However, Honorable Junet and Honorable Gadoniwa Mushomba, we have a decision to make as a house. Currently, the education sector is the number one uh, department that we have allocated most of the money. 27% of the entire national government expenditure is going to the education sector. So I want to assure the members that yes, we agree, the current modern economic models that will propel economic growth are all based on education and technology. And that is precisely what we are doing. If you compare the money for Tibet in the previous years as now, you'll see it's an upward trend. And I want also to assure them, close to 700 billion Kenya ceilings in this current budget is going to the education sector. Allow me to put the question that the programs under the vote 1065 as read out and sums are located in the schedule, be approved. I now put the question, there are some not exceeding 127,986,194,444 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1065. As many as are of that opinion say aye. As many as are of a contrary opinion say nay. The ayes have it. Vote 1066, State Department for Basic Education. I propose the question 
there are some not exceeding 142 billion 263 million 122,192 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to, co to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1066, the State Department for Basic Education. Programs under the vote, primary education, secondary education, quality assurance and standards, general administration, planning, and support services. No amendments. I put, propose the question that the programs under vote 1066, as read out and sums allocated in the schedule, be approved. Member for... Member for Kasipul, Kabondo Kasipul, Honorable Ivo Barra. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. I support the budget. But going forward, uh, I would urge this House, Madam Chair, to consider a policy that we had in place called Edu Afia. Madam Chair, we are soon going to run into a crisis when our children fall sick in school. Because previously, they were taken straight because they had the cover. And then the parent would be called. But now, that cover is not there. So when a child falls sick in school, the principal is expected to get money from his pocket and take the child to school and then look for the parent. Can you imagine a situation where there is no money to take that child to school before the parents is able to get to school? So chair of finance and my chair, these are now, this is a matter we have discussed, but the house can look at it as a policy so that it gets back and the money is taken back to take care of our children while they are in school. Thank you very much. I support. Mm -hmm. Member for Kwanzaa. Madam Chair, I think we, we should do something on this as well. I quite agree this is a, a money that uh, we've got as, as students who are very bright. Members, those and intending to speak, kindly use the intervention button. Continue, what? member for Kwanzaa. Yeah, they should not disrupt to me. I'm the ranking member here. So uh, I think we should be able to look for funds. And uh, I want to talk to uh, my brother here in charge of the finance so they can be able to see uh, this in the basic education. And when you offer that, you should also have some uh, supplementary uh, fee for those who want to do uh, advanced uh, education the masters. That is not provided anywhere. Even, uh, you see, you can't use uh, bursaries uh, to do that because we did not allowed. There was no money for students who are actually going for masters. And therefore, I think you should have some little funds for that because those are people who actually be able to bring this country, uh, to push this country forward for development sake for the future. So we should have some funds apart from this. Honorable member for Kiamba. Thank you, Chair. I support and I really want to call upon the Ministry to make sure that the 142 billion shillings that has been released to uh, uh, primary schools, that they make sure that this capitation gets to the children on time and to the headmasters on time, so that we can be able to make sure that we support our children as much as possible. Thank you, Madam uh, Ch uh, Chair. I support. Yeah. Thank you, Chair, for this opportunity. Um, I support, but uh, this, uh, this capitation, I mean, especially this money for the primary schools uh, on a uh, capitation does not reach the schools in time, and we are always having problems. So it's one thing to have the money in the budget, and another thing for the money to be in the pockets of the, I mean, in the schools. So let the ministry ensure that the money is in the schools in time. Thank you. Honorable Member for Sigouet, Soin. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. As I support Madam Chair, I want to bring it to the attention of the Chairman of the Education Committee, and indeed the Ministry of Basic Education, that there are close to 50 PhD holders teaching in primary schools. I'm not saying this is wrong, but surely, Chair, 
these people who, are, who hold a PhD teaching in primary schools, something should be done so that they can be taken to teach in secondary schools and pro possibly even in our universities. Thank you, Madam Chair, I support. Didmas, keep it short. Chair, I, even as I support this, I want to say this that an area where the Ministry of education, Basic Education has failed is to ensure that the government's effort to offer free day secondary education and the primary education is being impeded by some, a few head teachers who increase fees levies that are even more than what the parents were paying previously before. So even as we release this money, honorable uh, chair, Madam Chair, we should ensure that the Ministry of officials ensure that free day secondary school remains free. Those who will not have uh, paid uh, lunch fees, lunch levies, they can go and eat at home. Or they can, they can eat what uh, the Honorable Yudet Mohammed calls Madondo. They can eat Madondo and continue to learn. I support the Honorable Chair. Honorable Atandi. Chair, Chair, I want to support the, uh, this uh, appropriations to Ministry of Basic Education. Uh, Madam Chair, as I, as I support, let me agree with uh, uh, my brother, the MP for Honorable, Honorable Baraza, Didmas Baraza. Madam Chair, free, secondary, day secondary school is free. But it is not free because principals have the de device tendency where they charge school fees for meals. And Madam Chair, you find that uh, a day school is charging 15,000 shillings for meals. This is something which is unrealistic. So I think the education ministry needs to take up this matter and tell uh, principals that you cannot even charge. If they don't have school fee, let them carry their own food. Because in day school, they carry their own food to school. Why are they not allowed to carry their uh, meals to secondary school, yet they are still going back in the evening to eat the, the, the same food at home? So Madam Chair, this is Thank very you. important, and I think I've already I've spoken to the chair. Though he didn't give me a conclusive answer, but he needs to take it up seriously. Thank Honorable you. Junet, one chair, minute. Yeah, Chair, one minute. Chair, I think we should not pass money just on paper. Chair, this issue of capitation has been a big problem for schools, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, there are schools that we are basically 20 days to the end of the financial year, and there are schools that are receiving capitation as late as this month. Chair, if we, are, if we are going to pass this budget as early as now, and schools ends, uh, end up receiving their money at the, end of the next, at the end of the financial year, how are they supposed to survive, Madam Chair? Madam Chair, if this issue of timely disbursement of capitation is not addressed, we are not going to have quality education in our constituencies. That is number one. Number two, Madam Chair, equitable share of infrastructure funds that is in this budget must be brought clearly to this parliament how we are going to share equitably the development of schools and infrastructure in every constituency. If that's not addressed also, we are wasting our time here as members of parliament. I will put the question that the programs under vote 1066, as read and sums are located in the schedule, be approved. I now put the question that are some, that are some not exceeding We shall not work like that, honorable members. We have already proposed and put the question. I now put the question that are some not exceeding 142,263,122,192 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of 1066. As many as of that opinion say aye. As many as of a counter opinion say nay. The eyes have it. Vote 1071, the National Treasury. I propose the question that a sum not exceeding 146 billion, 72 million, 137,600 Kenya, 600 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1071. Programs under the vote. General Administration, Planning and Support Services, Public Financial Management, Economic and Financial Policy Formulation and Management, and Market Competition. No amendments. I propose the question that the programs under vote 1071, as read out and sums allocated in the schedule, be approved. 
member for Mandera North? Not on this. I will. I put the question that the programs under the vote 1071, the National Treasury has read out and sums allocated in the schedule be approved. I now put the question that a sum not exceeding Kenya shillings 146 billion 72 million 137,600 be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1071. As many as of that opinion say aye. As many as have a counter opinion say nay, the eyes have it. Vote 1072, State Department for Economic Planning. I propose a question that a sum not exceeding 66 billion 782 million 133,355 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1072. Programs under vote 1072, public service transformation, monitoring and evaluation services, economic policy and national planning, national statistical information services, and general administration, planning, and support services. I propose the question that the programs under vote 1072 as read out and sums allocated in the schedule be approved. I therefore put the question that the programs under vote 1072 as read doubt and sums allocated in the schedule be approved. I now put the question that a sum not exceeding 66 billion 782 million 133,355 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to co complete the sum necessary to meet the recurrent and development expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2025 in respect of vote 1072. As many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. As many as are of a counter opinion say nay. The eyes of it. Vote 1082, State Department for Medical Services. I propose the question that a sum not exceeding 102 billion 983 million 407 719 Kenya shillings be issued from the consolidated fund to complete the sum necessary.